But with the Affordable Care Act, there are certain insurance plans that are called ACA compliant. And so I think that when we hear that term, we think that there's a certain level of protection or maybe that the, that the access and the care will be somewhat equal between these different plans. Say you contract HIV in a county in Alabama, what are your options for a medical provider or a specialist? What are your options for health insurance and how much will it cost you? And will it cover the things that you need to cover? So we're looking at all of the health insurance plans that are offered throughout the United States and trying to understand how they differ in terms of access to HIV medications and the medication that actually can prevent HIV. And how hard maybe it is to cover those things because there are certain things like pre-authorization. We took terabytes of data and tried to figure out how much it would cost for someone um, but as we dive into the data, we're really finding that there's a lot of variation in what you can get with these ACA compliant plans. So I think we need to continue to understand how different sorts of navigators, um, insurance navigators and certified application counselors are helping people to get those insurance plans. So I think we'll continue to work in the quantitative domain and the qualitative arena to try to see what can we learn from these two different angles and, and how can we help people understand what their options are.